got a 2006 Aerox here and today I'm going to be taking off the radiator which is just under here. I'm going to be draining all the coolant and then putting it back on. First thing you want to do is take your screws off under here. I haven't got screws, I've got cable ties because the lugs have snapped behind. You just want to take them off and then your two down here either side. Just pop the front panel straight off. And then there's your rad and there's your bottle. To drain all the coolant out, you're going to want to release this bottom Jubilee clip and you're going to want to have a tray ready. So you can just pop that off in, and then pour it all into the tray. First what you want to do, you want to take your coolant cap off so the airflow flows down through. So you'll get most of the coolant out as you can. You can even tip the bike into the tray and get the most of that you can out. The first thing you want to do is get your 7mm socket, if yours are 7mm Jubilees or you can put a little flathead in there or you might even have crosshead jubilees you want to just get that on there loosen these right up, they might be a bit stiff, they might even completely be rounded off mine are relatively new don't know if you can see but the coolant's starting to drip out already so you want to keep doing that pull that off once it, you think it's loose enough and then hold the tray up because it is going to all flush out quickly You want to drop that like that try and catch as much of it as you can because you can reuse this so you want to drain all that out including tipping the bike you can tip the bike over like this as much of it as you can out then once you've got most of the coolant drained out I'm going to come up here to your rad uh, you've got one bolt there one bolt there you can leave that one because that's just holding the rad to the bottom. And you've got two bolts at the bottom here, size 10, just undo them. And then what you will have, if you haven't touched it before, you will have these clips, which are bastards. You can only use them once unless you like manage to get them back over. But you just want to pop that off. You can even put pliers on them and twist them. But, and then what I do, I go to Jubilees. So now I can just undo that with a socket instead of messing about with getting a brand new clip every time and you want to pull your pipes off and get your rad off and I'll do that next. Now your rad and your bottle is off, all you need to do is undo the Jubilees, pop your two tubes off and that's completely free. and then it's off, just like that. Now that's all off, once you've got your new radiator, you can just grab it exactly the same way you did. You wanna just take the bottle off and put it on, on the radiator, just like this one goes. Or you might have a bottle with it, depending on who you bought it off. Just pop it back on the exact reverse steps that I've just showed you. Uh, I'm gonna be gluing this one again, because I've got a crack, I'm just waiting for my new one to come. So I'm just gonna rub loads of epoxy resin in there, just Poundland stuff rub loads of epoxy resin all down here and hopefully it'll seal the crack until my new one comes so yeah just reverse the steps exactly what I've just done just take that off put your exit coolant pipe back on tighten that right back up careful not to split the rubber on the tubes though quite hard to find these tubes where they don't make them anymore and then uh, unless you look on ped parts you can get brand new ones maybe you can even get see-through ones then once that's all back on you want to fill it back up the coolant right to the top make sure there's no air bubbles on there in there even and then once that's all done put your cap on and put your front panel back on with your screws in my case cable ties that's it for the video thank you for watching remember to subscribe